Hello and welcome to What the Rage Q and today we talk about handling and how to make it better on a BMW E34. It's a 518, 535. Now before we go into all the exciting anti-roll bar upgrades and perflex and strut brace and all that good stuff, always start at the basics, the bare basics and that make sure you've got a good set of matching tyres even though some people do put sticky rubber up front on staggered setup to balance the tyres out a little bit but a good set of tyres all the way around from a reputable company like Toyo will deal well. Really, once you've fitted your anti roll bars and your lower suspension and your grading engine and all that stuff, the only thing that has contact with the road is the tyres. So all the money you put into anywhere else, make sure it's backed up with a good set of tyres. A lot of most people say when you go on the forum, you used to go back on the forum on them day and um, ask, what should I do to make my 525 faster or handle better? Most people would say, make sure it's running right from the start. In this case, make sure it's handling right from the start. That means checking my bushes, checking my drop links, checking dog bones, just making sure everything is right to begin with. Now, land forwarder is a good way to go, but you could buy cheap arms off eBay and polyurethane the bushes, go to Perflex and they do most of the front bushes for the arms and stuff on their side. You can get them in the purple rain, which is like streety, hot street. Then you can get a black series, which is really tough, um, a tough bush, black series on Boudica, because it's the best you can get from Perfect. Now, I say Perfect because Perfect, Dad's been using for years, I've been using for years, and most people do like Perfect. I have heard stories from other um, companies that make polyurethane bushes and they've been wrong and they ain't been done properly, they ain't been processed properly and they've had absolutely nightmares with the customer service. So if a company's good, you got to stick behind them. So that's why we use Perflexes on all our cars when needed. So we've actually got a matching set of good quality tyres. We've got all the arms changed, all the drop links changed and all the bush at the front changed. We only can either give cheap and perflex them or expensive lockdown folder depending which way you think about it next is the fun bit the actual bit that you can see trying to form your car and that is spring and shock combinations now you can either go all out and get bc racing coil overs get the um rebounds and the stiffness all spec to your car you can do what dad did and go with a bill stein b12 kit which is a bill stein shock and an eye back um, spring those are the best in my book spring and shock combination you can get period or you could go for a county shock and spring or like we did a spax psn psn i think it was with the adjustable dampening and we got the psn I always get confused with that psn i think it was called kit i looked like this you're never going to reach for limits of the suspension on the road dad when he brought the Bilstein b12 he wanted to go all out with it which i don't blame him he went all out with it he got new um brakes at a time Perflex bushes and all that and he went the old up with it and Randall's absolutely great team builders absolutely great but on the road you'd never reach for limits of a PSN kit a Bilstein kit a county kit or a BC racing coil over so if you want to use it on the road pick one and ride with it and just a side note when you're changing your shock and spring make sure you put the effort into change the spring pad <coughs> you can get them from BMW for them not that much it'll just make the old job look a lot better and it'll make a bit of improvement as well because if the spring pads are no good i'm just going to be giving out on the spring so change your spring pads also your top mount change your top mount you can get adjustable ones so you can adjust the camber if you're in torva now we talk about perflex at the front we can change the back axle bushes to perflex items as well the purple ones or the black ones whichever one you decide it's good because you can feel the difference once you've changed them because most of them shot now plus because they'll last longer means you won't have to do this job as many times because nobody likes changing axle pushes. And if you even get to the E34 hand in Malarca, you can fit an E34 M5 um, back axle carrier and trailer in the arms. The back of a normal E34 is fixed, but the M5 option does give you some tuning ability. Just another side note as well, if you think of changing your axle pushes, there's a centre bush to the rear of the car that the actual or what well, the axle carrier sits on, change it as well. Nobody ever change it, and it's a job well done. Anyway, it's now onto the more juicier bits, which is anti roll bars. Now, the stock SC anti roll bar is 23mm at the front and 15mm at the back. If you're lucky enough to have a sports model, 
you've got 24 millimeters at front and 18 millimeters out back. Now M5s are 25 millimeters at front and 18 out back. But if you fancy going to this deeper, you can buy aftermarket anti rail bar and the specs are as follows. All your back, 26 millimeters at front and 13 millimeters at back. Yes, that's not. Um, a mess up from 13 millimeters at the back and 26 millimeters at front. Racing dynamics they are 27 millimeters at front and 19 millimeters at back, and these are adjustables. Now, here's a company I do like Ultra Racing, and they do a front and back anti rail bar for V34, and that is 28 at the front and 19 at the back. Then we've got IC Snitter and their bars, which are 26 millimeters at the front and 19 millimeters at the back. Adjustable. Now, Hartage do do an anti rail bar set for V34, but I haven't been able to find the actual sizes of the bars, so I've left it out. Also, the fact when do you see Hartage bars come up for sale? I've never seen a set come for sale. I have seen an IC Snitter set come once, I missed out on it. You can buy Ultra Racing ones new, you can buy, I think you can buy Racing Dynamic ones new as well. So, I went for ones that you could readily get. Plus, I couldn't find one for Artage. Now we're on to safety bars, but I've always referred to them now the mess. Strut braces, so that's what we're going to talk about now. Now the first strut brace, but straight from BMW, is the BMW 34 tail bar. It's attached to the bottom of the, the panel by four bolts. It took it from, it's about six bolts. And I took it off once and put it back on, and you could actually feel the difference in the way the car drove. It seemed more stiffer. So a detachable BMW 34 tail bar, is a rear strut brace. Ultra Rising also have got you covered as well. There is um, a strut brace that you mount from tail to tail at the back, but it does involve welding, and I didn't really want to have to weld a bar into the back. That's not what I'm about, really. If I did need any rust repair a few years down the line on mineral arches, thankfully there was none, I'll probably get a bar fitted then. But where things rust free and sealed, I think I'm going to leave it. Ultra Rising do do a front and lower bar for the front. The front one fits any E34, the top one only fits 525s, 520s and I think 518s. So if you're local seeing you've got a few E34s and you can think about trading up over time, getting like a 540 or an M4, QMS Motorsports and eBay do a, a top scrub brace, a terror brace, but it fits all the models. We have got a lower ultra racing brace and before QMS made this top brace, I was stuck on what to have really, so I'm happy for QMS, well, I did find out about QMS and their one piece brace. The ultra rising one is one piece as well, as well as the QMS performance one, it's one piece. The lower one also is one piece. And the final thing is a nice steering wheel and a nice seat that holds you in. Now we've got a, I'll get this right, I think it was off an 850 CSL steering wheel. It's got the fun grips in, it's, it's quite small. Many people mistake this wheel for the factory one that you get on most E34s. But now this is actually a steering wheel off an 850 CSL and it's real nice to drive as well. We've got a thumb stick, quite thick, it's nice. And we've got a manual adjustable sport seat, which come from the car factory. Quote, quote, closer. Closer look at a steering wheel for those that are interesting. You can see it's got a thumb stick on. It's off an 850 CSL. Yeah, I'm still in lockdown. Here in the UK, but I was sitting last night thinking about videos and this one cup. I've also got another video on my mind as well about weight, the weight of E34, and how to improve on it and all that, which is halfway done. This is sort of the handling section. We know the E34 handles well, but a few little bits that you can do to make your E34 yours. I think that's, that's a take on it, to make your E34 yours. Because that's the thing, really, about modifying cars, changing cars. We all want them to look like ours of our creative thinking, our likes and dislikes. So, at this point I'd like to say, thanks for watching, until next time, bye bye.